So you bought a mechanical keyboard, and it served you well. But like any piece of tech, it's gotten dirty over time. Dust has made its way through the gaps of the keys, and the keycaps are now shiny because of the oil from your hands. You figure it's time for some TLC for your hardware. Cleaning a mechanical keyboard is easy, but it takes up a lot of your time. Well, it's a Sunday evening here in the Philippines, and I've got no work tomorrow. So I figured I could clean my keyboard and Joe's keyboard too. Let's do this. Before starting the cleaning process, it's always a good idea to take a picture of the layout of your keyboard so you have a reference to where all the keys should be. Step 1. Removing and cleaning the keycaps. To get all the dust and grime making your keyboard disgusting, we first have to remove the keycaps. If your keyboard is like the Black Widow X Chroma or the Strafe RGB, called the floating key design where there are no recesses where the keys are, you can do it by hand. Just gently tug on the keycap to remove it. If it's a standard keyboard design, you can't do this. Instead, you have to use a keycap removal tool. Take extra care when removing the large keycaps because of their stabilizers. Some come with a co-star, also called wire stabilizer, like the Black Widow X Chroma. To remove these keycaps, just tug on them and gently slide out one side first, then the other side to remove the keycap. Some come with a cherry stabilizer, which you can just pull out. Remove all the keycaps and put them in a bowl or dipper. Add water and a little bit of dishwashing soap. Stir a little bit to have the soap dissipate and let it sit there for a while. Step 2. Clean the keyboard plate. The keyboard plate is where most of the dust is. To clean this part, I suggest using a wide soft paintbrush. I use this red number 12 paintbrush from Best Buy, which you can get from National Bookstore for just 73 pesos. Just sweep through in between the switches to get all the dust and dirt out. You can also use a pair of tweezers to pull out big bits of dust and hair that might have gotten caught on the switches. After that, if there are still persistent marks on the plate, you can use a Q-tip or cotton buds with a bit of alcohol. For the sides, use a microfiber cloth with a bit of alcohol. Step 3. Drying out the keycaps. Rinse the keycaps to get all the soap out. I usually do 3-4 to four rinses before going through everything with a plastic strainer. After this, lay out all the keycaps on a small towel with direct airflow to it. Do not use a hair dryer because the heat might cause the plastic to warp or bend. Once the keys are all dried out, use a dry microfiber cloth to give the keycaps one last wipe before putting it on the keyboard. Step 4. Reinstalling the keycaps. Remember the photo I asked you to take before? Whip that out and start putting the keys back in their correct positions. This is the longest part of cleaning, so be sure to pull up some entertainment while you're doing it. After all the steps, head on over to KeyboardTester.com to check if your keyboard still works fine. Voila! You've cleaned your mechanical keyboard. It's always such a nice sight to see and it feels really good when you get that good as new look to take photos and videos of. So that's how you clean your mechanical keyboard. Do you have any questions? Comment down below. While you're there, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you want to see more, you can check out my previous video which is about the Corsair K95 Platinum RGB. Check back soon! Joe will be taking over this channel and she'll be talking about the LG Stylus 3, apparently. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.